Steve Hill and Dr. Naomi Bonus focused on Green H2 during their recent podcast discussion. Green Hydrogen Fuel Technology Developer, New Hydrogen Incorporated CEO, Steve Hill spoke with Stanford University energy expert, Dr. Naomi Bonus, Managing Director of the Natural Gas Initiative, during a recent podcast focusing on the cheapest production of the renewable H2 in the world. Dr. Bonus placed a focus on the rising interest in using hydrogen fuel as a form of alternative energy as the world works to decarbonize. She pointed out that H2 is expected to comprise around 18% of total energy use over the next few decades. As energy costs continue to rise and as climate change continues to cause concern, H2 is often seen as a safe, affordable, and clean solution to the need to transition away from polluting fossil fuels. Bonus underscored the applications where H2 is viewed as the most promising, such as in heavy industries like oil, steel, glass making, gas, and pharmaceuticals, as well as in transportation. Hydrogen, much like natural gas, could provide resilience to the electric grid, said Dr. Bonus during the podcast. We could make it from curtailed wind and solar, such as during the middle of the day and during the summer, and then use it when wind and solar are not available. Using hydrogen in that capacity is an exciting application. Beyond clean energy, Bonus also believes hydrogen fuel could help provide electricity for hundreds of millions. We live in a world where we still have close to a billion people who do not have electricity. This is one of the big problems that we still have to solve, explained Bonus. One of the really exciting things about hydrogen is how we can use it. Energy is typically created in huge volumes, and then it is transported by various means all over the world. Renewables are changing the way we think about energy. We are seeing more microgrids. Hydrogen, particularly when it is generated from renewable resources, fits in nicely with this idea of small-scale, decentralized solutions that don't require huge capital investment up front, are easy to maintain and provide reliability. What's particularly intriguing is the prospect of generating green hydrogen from solar and wind energy that would otherwise be wasted. Astonishingly, a significant portion of the energy produced in the U.S. ends up being wasted around 34%, according to some sources. During periods of high production and low demand, surplus wind and solar energy can be channeled towards electrolyzers to produce green hydrogen. This not only optimizes the use of renewable resources, but also offers a solution for storing intermittent renewable energy. Moreover, green hydrogen boasts the benefit of being transportable. Unlike electricity, which must be used immediately or stored in batteries with limited capacity, hydrogen can be stored and transported over long distances. This makes green hydrogen a versatile energy carrier with applications across various sectors, including transportation, industry, and heating. The podcast encouraged investors and individuals to educate themselves about the hydrogen fuel infrastructure and how it will affect communities and play a substantial role in the lives of billions of people. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe and grab our free H2 ebook for more updates. Also, leave us a comment and let your thoughts be heard.